Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Modern Warfare Vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going ahead and building the Ural Typhoon 63095 that would have a crew of three. It could carry up to 16 passengers. Dimensions on screen now a length of 8.47 meters. Its role is an infantry mobility truck, and the number built is not available. Armaments, it has no armaments, and armor is very light, if anything, uh, just to block out small arms fire. Engine, you can see right here, one Yamez, uh, 450 horsepower. Uh, performance, you can see right here, a max speed of 150 kilometers per hour. But anyways, guys, that's it for this, and enjoy the tutorial. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Scare 2 here, bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare Vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going ahead and building the Ural 63095 Typhoon. This vehicle here is uh, a specific variant of the series of Typhoon class MRAP vehicles. Uh, these uh, vehicles are mine resistant ambush protected vehicles that are used by Russia today. Uh, overall, the truck is pretty cool. There's nothing really else to cover much about it in terms of everything like that. It's, you know, just a cargo, could be used as a cargo truck, uh, a mobile base, and troop transport, all of those roles you can fill. Uh, and it's overall just a really cool looking truck. Now, uh, this here was a birthday request, and as I took my break, I was a little behind on uh, birthday requests. So this was for se September 18th, and this, came f this request came from Shauna B, which I believe the name of this person is actually David, if I do remember correctly. Uh, but uh, yeah, so this request came from uh, Shauna B, or David, and uh, they requested this for their birthday, which was on September 18th. So happy birthday, man. Hopefully you had a good one, and um, hopefully uh, you enjoyed this design for the uh, Ural. Uh, Typhoon, I think it definitely came out pretty good, and uh, it's definitely going to look awesome in any modern uh, scenarios that would have, obviously, the Russians involved. Let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, vehicle itself, kind of get a look and see kind of what's going around it, and uh, we'll go ahead and move into the tutorial. So, to start off with, you have the front up here, you got your front headlights, the uh, front um, grill, all that kind of stuff there, nothing too fancy for that. Uh, you got the cab right here, which would seat, um, I believe, two probably um, a driver and a passenger uh, on the top here you just got a, a spotlight that I saw some uh, versions of it having so a little spotlight right there and uh, you have um, some cab lights and stuff like that radio antenna there would be a hatch up here on the roof um, I think some of these could be equipped with a machine gun up on the top as well uh, you can see just the details along the side here um, again just a lot of detail and all that stuff the uh, modern day kind of uh, Russia um, army symbol or something like that. You can see the same design I uh, on that I used on the uh, T14 Armata. Uh, just a lot of detail all the way around. You got the back here, um, which is uh, very nice. Lots of detail again on the back. Uh, the wheels, nice suspension, all that kind of stuff. You can see there's actually detail for it. Um, so a lot of uh, cool stuff going on with that, and uh, a lot of detail that you may not even be able to see, but uh, it's there, so it just kind of adds to it. Um, anyways, overall, I'm really happy with this truck. Hopefully you guys do enjoy, and it's, an, again, an awesome addition to our line of Modern Warfare Russia vehicles. And again, if you guys have any vehicles you would like to see, be sure to leave them down in the comments below. Other than that, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by starting off for our first layer, layer 1. Alright guys, so moving on to our first layer. Now for layer 1, what we want to do is we're going to start off by building the left front wheel, and then pretty much gain our wheelbase all set up and established. Now what we want to do for this is we're going to place down two narrow brick stairs back to back, just like this, to make the bottom half of the wheel. After you have that done, we're going to place down a stone brick top sab coming off of this second stair right here, followed by a dark oak with top sab, a stone brick top sab, and then again a uh, two upside down narrow brick stairs back to back for the right front wheel. And this right here is representing our axle um, in between the wheels, just like that, and um, everything like so. With that finished, we then want to go ahead and uh, we're going to take some placeholder blocks. We'll just go and grab it, go into our inventory, grab some color blocks just to kind of give you guys a visual on how this is going to look. We're going to go ahead and place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So we're going to have basically a space of 7 right here. And uh, we're actually going to go ahead and... Uh, yeah, let me just uh, double check here make sure it's a space of 7. Um, actually, uh, yeah, space of 7, we're good. Uh, then we're going to place down a stone brick top sab, followed by one more that goes back, and then one out on either side of this last one. So you get something that kind of looks like that. And we can delete these blocks because they're not needed anymore. Um, so we can just go ahead and delete that all right there. Now coming off of this uh, stone brick top sab here, we're going to place down a uh, narrow brick upside down stair like this, and then one on the back of it like so. So basically exactly what we did up there in the uh, the front. Again, it's just going to be the uh, kind of this middle axle right here for the wheels. Once you have that done, uh, we also want to go ahead and go to the front up here. We're going to go ahead and count uh, three spaces back from this narrow brick stair over here. We're going to place down a fence gate. We're going to open it up like this, 
And we're going to go and do the same thing over here. So it's three spaces back from this. So you have one, two, and then it's on your third space. After you have that done, we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a wooden trap door. And we're going to place down a wooden trap door on this level right here. So it's going to kind of come off. It's going to skip one space from this uh, never break up sound stair. And it's going to kind of stay right there. So something just like that. After you have uh, that done, we're going to go ahead and skip a space of one right here. And then again, place down a stone brick top slab. Followed by a stone brick top slab back after it. And then one out to either side like this for the uh, very last axle. And again, just like we did for the previous axle right here, we're just going to place down our narrow brick stairs. Just like this, upside down and back to back. To uh, pretty much go in and finish that all off. Once you guys have that done, that's going to do it for your first layer. Here's a bit of an overview of what it looks like from above. Something just like that. Once you guys have that all um, finished and set up, we can go and move on to our next layer, layer two. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving on to our next layer, we have layer two. For layer two, what we want to do is you want to go ahead and go to these narrow brick stairs that are back to back and go ahead and just place down narrow brick stairs back to back on top of them, just like this, to basically go ahead and just complete the uh, look of the uh, wheels that are going to go all the way around. So something just like that, and you should have basically six wheels that look something just like that. Very simple stuff. When we get to this section here, we're going to go ahead and start off by going ahead and going to these stone brick top sabs in the very front on the front axle. We're going to place down a cobblestone wall on top of the stone brick top sabs. In the very center block in between them, we're going to place down a green stankway block. And coming off of that block, we're going to place down an upside down dark oak with stairs just like that. Once you guys have uh, that all finished, we then want to go ahead and take our uh, dark oak with top sabs. We're going to place down one that comes off the stair, followed by one that goes out on your side just like that. With that finished, coming off of these uh, half slabs, we're just going to go ahead and place down some wooden signs, just like that, to go ahead and make the front bumper there. With that finished, going ahead and continuing on, we're going to place down a row three of polished andesite like this, followed by a green stinkway block on the other side. Uh, this is a little bit asymmetrical at some points um, in this early section, so I just want to make sure that I do this right. So you may be uh, seeing me take a few looks back and forth, just to make sure I'm, I'm doing stuff right. Uh, so when we get to this point here, we then... Uh, we actually want to go ahead and actually switch this uh, block out here. We're actually going to place down an upside down uh, dark oak with stair on your side. So my bad, just go ahead and swap that green stink with block out there. I got a little bit of ahead of myself there. We then want to place down another row three polished andesite, followed by a green stink with block on your side like this. Once you get to this point here, we're going to place down a dark oak with upside down stair on your side like so, followed by again a row three polished andesite in between the stairs. For our next section here, we're going to place down another row three of, of uh, polished andesite, followed by a green stink with block on your side. We're going to go ahead and repeat that one more time, and again a row of three, just like this across. When you get to this point right here, we're going to place down a row of three of polished andesite. And over here on the right side, where we have this wooden trap door, and only on the right side, we're going to place down a dark oak with fence gate, opened up like so. You're not going to put that on the left side, you're going to leave the left side completely alone for this part. Now when we get to this section here, we want to go ahead and place down a polished andesite block in the very center like this. And then coming off this fence gate over here on this side, we're going to place down a dark oak with upside down stair. And pretty much in the same place over here on, on the left side, we're going to go and do the same. So there's an upside down stair just like that to create the um, first part here of the fenders. Once you have that done, after this polished downside block, we're going to place down one more going back like this. Followed by an end rod going out on either side like so. Oops, my bad. I did not mean to break the polished downside block. So just like that on both sides. We then want to place down a cobblestone wall on either side. Again, a polished andesite block in the very center like that. So the shocks here for the axle and all that kind of stuff is what we're making right now. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a stone brick top slab, um, which we can just go ahead and grab like this. So a stone brick top slab, followed by one polished andesite block back, followed by a second one. And just like we did in the front there, we're going to place down end rods, come off the, the first one here, and then cobblestone walls right next to the second one. Now, when you get to this point here, uh, we're going to go ahead and start off by taking our stone brick top sides, placing down one and two back like this. When you get to this point here, we're going to place down one and two out on either side of this one that's in the very center. So you have a row of five that goes across just like that. Also, coming off of this uh, this uh, top side here, we're going to place down a dark oak with upside down stair, which will again be part of the fenders. And then same thing over here, just like that um, for both sides. Now, on the back here, we will need to go ahead and go and grab some stuff um, out of our inventory here. So we're going to grab ourselves an item frame. We're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some regular glass blocks and also some red stained glass blocks like so. Now, on the back here, we're just going to place down one and two item frames and then one and two, leaving a space in the middle here. On the, the half sabs that also have the item frames, we're also going to place down signs just like this to kind of cover them up and make them look a little bit nicer. Just like that. On, the, on uh, the far sides here, we're going to place down a red stained glass block. And then on the item frames that are closest to the center, we're going to place down glass blocks like so. 
Now on the very center space in between them, we're just going to take a dark liquid fence gate, place down an open one just like this for the very center. And once you guys have that all done, that's going to pretty much do it for our uh, first layer, layer one, or sorry, my bad, layer two. And um, you can see we're starting to get the uh, body of the truck starting to build up pretty nicely. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this layer. Let's go ahead and move on to our next. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving on to our next layer. Now, for layer two, what we want to, or sorry, my bad, layer three, I <laughs> can't get my layers all mixed up. Uh, we're going to start off by placing down a polished anti block on top of this very center uh, dark oak with top sab. We then want to place down a green stink wheel block on your side, and again, take your stone buttons and place them down on your side, followed by a ladder there in the very center like that. Once you guys have uh, that done, we want to go ahead and take a wooden trap door, which we should have done in the previous layer, but I kind of missed it. Uh, we're going to place down a wooden trap door, come off these dark oak wood top steps, just like that on either side. Again, that's kind of part of the bumper there. With that finished, on top of this narrow brick stair right here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair on either side, followed by a row three of green stained clay, all the way across like so. Coming off the fronts of these stairs, we're going to place down a atom frame with a glass block in it, just like this for the front headlights. And we're also going to go ahead and place down a sign on that front of the stair like that, like, like we did on the back there, just to make the lights look a little bit nicer. With that finished, we then want to go ahead and take our... Uh, green stain clay blocks, we're going to place down a row of three across like this, followed by a dark oak with top stab on either side. With that complete, we want to go ahead and again take a row of three of green stain clay, place it across like this, dark oak with stair on either side, like so. With that done, we then want to go ahead and take our dark oak with stairs, we're going to place down one and two upside down ones, going along the side here, and then one and two over here on this side as well, just like that. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of three of polished anisite blocks in this section here, followed by a dark oak with top slab on either side. Uh, just to double check here to make sure I'm on the right page, it does look like I am, so that's good. Now what we want to do for this section is we're just going to place down one and two polished anisite blocks back here, and then one and two. We could also fill in the space here of polished anisite if you want to, not that big of a deal, but uh, we, can, we can just go ahead and fill it in if you guys really want to. And we're just going to place down ladders on the sides here, these polished anisite blocks like that on both sides. With that finished, we then want to go ahead and place down a row of three green stained clay. And we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some la or some levers. And we're going to place down some levers on top of these dark oak wood upstairs, on stairs, which are going to be flicked kind of toward these wheels like so. Once you have that done, we're going to take our green stained clay bl blocks again, place down a row of three, followed by a dark oak wood stair just like this on either side. And we're going to, going to go ahead and repeat this a few more times for a total of five of these rows. So we're just going to go and place down four more rows of three of green stained clay, like, stained clay that goes back like this. And again, your dark oak wood stairs on the side here. And same thing right over here, like so. So it's going to basically just cover up the wheels there. And that's kind of part of the fenders and stuff that goes over these rear wheels. On top of this dark oak wood up stair, we're going to place down a lever like this facing toward the stair like that. We're then going to place down a row of three of green stained clay blocks, followed by a second row of three just like that. On top of this dark oak wood fence gate, a dark oak wood stair. And the last final thing we're going to do for this layer is we're just going to go ahead, or so one of the last final things, we're just going to place down two stone buns on those stone brick top steps on the side there. And we also want to take some levers, and we're going to place down two levers like this on the very back. Once you guys have that all done, that's going to pretty much do it for layer uh, three. With that, we can move on to layer four. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving on to our next layer here, we have layer four. Now, for layer four, what we want to do is we want to place down a row of three of dark oak wood half steps across the front here. We're then going to place down a dark oak wood stair after it, followed by a dark oak wood corner stair like this on both sides. Once you have that done, we're going to place down a row of three of green stained clay across like so, followed by a um, just a regular uh, green carpet like this on both sides. Once you have that done, we're going to go ahead and place down another row of three of green stained clay, followed by a mossy cobblestone wall on either side. Going ahead and going along the sides here, we're going to place down one and two green stained clay blocks, and then one and two green stained clay blocks like so. And on the second green stain clay block, we're going to grab ourselves a tripwire hook and just place down one on your side there for the latch for the doors. With that done, we're going to place down a row of three of green stain clay all the way across, followed by an item frame with a orange stained glass block in it, just like this, uh, to kind of show like the lights on the side of the uh, vehicle. Once you have that done, we're going to take our green stain clay blocks and just place down a row that kind of runs along the side here. So we're going to go ahead and go back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Same thing over here, one, two, three, four. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. We're going to take stone buttons, and after this item frame, we're going to skip a space, place down a stone button, skip two spaces, a stone button, skip two spaces again, stone button, and skip one space, and then a stone button, just like that, so you have a pattern like that on the side. And we're just going to do the same thing over here, so just like this. Very simple. And on the back here, we're going to place down just a stone button on either side on those green stain clay blocks. We're going to place down one more green stain clay block that goes in on either side, 
and we're going to grab ourselves some spruce wood planks and place down one just in the very center. Now on top of those uh, levers we placed in the previous layer, we're just going to go ahead and crouch in the air, place down some end rods on top of them, just like that to kind of make these um, handles here for obviously make it a little easier to get in and, in and out of the uh, vehicle. And uh, once you guys have that all done, that's going to pretty much do it for uh, layer four. And with that, we can go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer five. All right, guys, so go ahead and move on to our next layer. Now, for layer five, what we want to do is you want to go ahead and start off by going to this row three of green stained clay. We're just going to place down two stone blends like that for a bit of extra added detail. On top of these um, these mossy cobblestone walls and the green stained clay blocks, we're just going to place down a row five of light gray stained glass panes. Along the sides here, we're also going to take light gray stained glass panes, just go back one and two. And same thing over here, one and two. Now, going out on the, from the sides here, this middle uh, glass pane, we're just going to place down an item for, or sorry, a... Um, Another glass pane coming off like this on your side for the side mirrors with a uh, sign coming off of it just like that for the, uh, of course, the rear view uh, mirrors. With that finished, we then want to take our green stained clay. We're going to place down a row of three that goes across like so. And just a stone bun on your side of this row of five. Once you have that done, all on the sides here, we're going to place down one, two, and uh, just two green stained clay blocks. And on the second one, we're going to place down a stone bun as well. Same thing over here, just like this. Now at this point right here, um, just a few little things. Uh, if you guys are planning on doing an interior for this vehicle, I would recommend not putting the uh, Russian symbol on the side here just because you have the, stair the stairs here and we need to cover up that space in the inside there. So I would recommend if you do want to use this for interior, then do not put then uh, do not put the logo. Just put green stain clay in its place. But if you guys are just having the truck for the exterior view and all that stuff, then you can feel free to use this um, marking on the side here. Um, so again, if you aren't, if you're going to have an interior, then uh, don't use this marking. If you guys uh, aren't, then go ahead and use the marking because it looks really nice. Um, so basically what we want to do for the marking, we're just going to place down a red sandstone upside down stair, followed by a uh, orange uh, clay block, a red hardened clay block, a uh, or orange uh, clay block again, and a redstone stair just like that. On the red stained clay block, we're going to place down a stone button, and if this is a row of green stained clay, you're going to place down a button in that block uh, that block right there and we just want to take green stain clay blocks and place them down behind the stairs just like that once you have that done uh, we then want to go ahead and uh, do the same thing over here on this side so just like this and taking this all the way along here like so and then again stone bun right here on that red stain clay block and your green stain clay blocks on the backs of these stairs just like that now with that finished, we then want to take our green stain clay blocks. We're just going to place down one, two, and three more for the back here. One, two, and three. And just like we did in the front, we're going to place down one and two stone buns like this. And then one and two uh, on this side as well. We're also going to place stone buns on the back here, just like that. Then we want to take our green stain clay blocks. We're going to place down one going on either side like this. We're then going to grab ourselves a uh, oak wood plank, or sorry, spruce wood plank. Place it down in the center with a trip wire hook coming off of it. We're going to grab levers. Place them down either side and flick them so that they're going down like this to connect to the uh, end rod just like that. Once you guys have that all done, that's going to pretty much do it for layer 2. <laughs> layer 2. <laughs> layer 5. And with that, let's go ahead and move on to layer 6. Alright guys, so moving on to our next layer here, we have layer 6. Now for layer 6, what we want to do is you want to go ahead and start off by taking green carpet. We're just going to place down a row of 3 on top of these 3 light gray stained glass panes in the very center. After you do that, we're going to go ahead and need to grab ourselves some uh, dark oak wood half steps. We're going to go ahead and place down a row of five here, or sorry, my bad, a row of four, starting from the right side and going over, of uh, those half steps like that. And then a dark oak wood stair over here on the far left side. We're going to go ahead and take item frames. We're going to place down one on the, on the stair like this. We're going to place down a glass block in it, or sorry, a glass pane in it for the, uh, uh, the for this little spotlight that's on the top here. And then on the middle three half slabs like this, we're going to go ahead and place down iron frames and place down orange stained glass blocks in it for the cab lights, like so. Once you have that done, on the right side here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair, followed by a dark oak wood half slab, spruce wood half slab, and then two dark oak wood half slabs. After you have that done, we're going to place down a row of five of green stained clay all the way across, followed by a stone button on uh, either side like this. When you get to this section here, we want to go ahead and place down a row of three of green stained clay like this. And we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a zombie head, place down one like this on either side. Uh, after you have that done, we're going to go ahead and take our green stained clay blocks. We're going to place down a row of two like this coming from either side. And then in the very center, we're going to place down a spruce wood plank like so. And on these green stained clay blocks on the side here, we're going to place down stone, bun stone buns as well. 
Once you have that done, we're going to place down a green snakeway block on your side, a row of three of spruce wood planks. We're then going to go ahead and place down a row of two of green snakeway blocks going in on your side like this. And then the very center, we're going to place down a spruce wood plank as well. After you have that done, we're going to place down a row of five of green stinkway with a stone bun on either side. After that, we're going to go and place down a second row of five of green stinkway. For the next row here, we're going to place down a row of two of green stinkway going on either side, and then a spruce wood plank there in the very center. For our next row, we're going to place down a narrow row of five of green stinkway all the way across, followed by a stone bun on either side again. After that, uh, we're going to place down a row of three of green stinkway in the center. Fall by a zombie head on either side, like so. And not like this on this side, like that. And then on the very back here, we're just going to place down a row of two green stinkway going on either side, and then in the very center, a zombie head, like so. We also want to take stone buns on these green stinkway blocks on the corner here. We're going to go ahead and place down stone buns around them, like so. Like we've been doing, and once you guys have that all finished, that's pretty much it for layer 6. With that, we'll move on to our last final layers, layers 7, 8, 9, and 10. We'll put the antenna on and all this top stuff and uh, pretty much be done with the build. So with that, let's go ahead and move on to our last final layers. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving on to our last final layers. Now for these layers, what we want to do is you want to go ahead and start by taking a dark oak wood fence post. We're going to place it down on top of this dark oak wood stair. We then want to take our iron bars. We're going to place down one, two, and three going up like this. After you have that done, we're going to take our green carpet. We're going to place down a row of five across like this. Uh, we're then going to go ahead and crouch and place down a narrow row of five, a gr green carpet that goes all the way across. Uh, when you get to this section here, we're going to place down stone buns on the uh, corners here, kind of like the circular um, section like this. And then we're just going to place down green carpet on top of all the green stinkway blocks right here. So just like this, row of five, like so right here. And when you get to this section, we're going to place down a stone bun on that uh, spruce wood plank. And again, a row of five of green carpet, a second row of five on top of the zombie heads and everything. And then when we get to this section here, we're going to place down a green carpet on either side. Starting off on the right side, we're going to place down a green stinkway block, followed by a second one, and then a iron bar uh, coming along the side of it, just like that. <clears throat> and once you guys have that all finished, that's going to pretty much do it for the Ural 63095 Typhoon. Uh, MRAP, a very awesome looking truck. I think it came out really good. Again, it's going to make an awesome addition to your um, you know, modern Russian military and all that kind of stuff. Overall, it looks really good. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy. Again, a happy late birthday to Shauna B. I believe uh, that's David. Um, hopefully, you had a good one, man, and hopefully, you do enjoy this design for this truck. Other than that, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys do end up using this design, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This being anything from a sign of the build, tweet to my channel or this video if this is a pretty social media sites. Just be sure to get proper credit for the build. That's all I ask for when doing these tutorials. It helps my channel grow and it helps me continue to, uh, you know, uh, feel motivated and all that stuff to continue to post these tutorials. So, if you do use it, please give me credit. And as long as you guys do, you're free to use it for whatever projects you guys are working on. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett2x4, and I'll see you guys next time.